Hi guys, the Benidorm enthusiasts here. Hope you've all had an amazing Christmas. We've had a good one here. I do think it's been a little bit quieter than the Christmas we had just before the pandemic. Maybe prices have got something to do with that. On one of our last videos before Christmas, we saw a lot of comments saying maybe Benidorm has priced itself out of the market. So that's what I'm gonna be chatting about today. Before we get into that, if you enjoy our content, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe so you're following our channel. It's completely free and also hit that bell so you get notifications when we release a new video and you don't miss a minute. So there is no doubt that prices have gone up when it comes to traveling and not just for Benidorm, but all over the world. Flights, accommodation, food and drink have all gone up over the last year or so. But just how much of an effect has that had on our tourism numbers here in Benidorm for 2023? Has Benidorm priced itself out, as some people have suggested? Well, if you look at the numbers overall for this last year, then no, the figures suggest otherwise. We have had an amazingly, incredibly successful year on the whole. Much, much better than I personally expected. If you go back to this time last year, I was really worried. I thought we were in for a very tough year. All we were hearing about was the cost of living crisis, price increase here, cutbacks there. It really seemed that people would be forced to prioritise other things above holidays and travel. But that doesn't seem to have been the case. It's been a crazy, crazy busy year. Remember, 2019 was a record-breaking bumper year here, the best year for tour tourism we've ever seen. Benidorm was absolutely booming pre-pandemic. So to come very close to those figures and during some periods to even surpass those figures is incredible. I don't think anybody expected that we would just pick up where we left off in 2019 after everything that happened during COVID. That would have been very optimistic indeed, but we actually weren't very far off here. Now of course we are going to have some quiet periods over the year in Benidorm. It's necessary to have that to regroup and recharge and get ready to go again but those quiet periods have been short and sweet and there really haven't been many of them. Overall for Spain there have been less British visitors than 2019. Around 1 million less Brits in total for Spain up to the end of November. This represents a 5% drop in British tourists, but other nationalities are making up for that drop. Numbers for other nationalities, on the other hand, are up from 2019. There were more Italians, more French, Dutch, Portuguese and Irish visitors to Spain in 2023 than in 2019. Visitors from Portugal and Ireland have increased the most, up 24% and 17% respectively from 2019 to 2023. For those first 11 months of the year, there have been 88.4 million international passengers to Spain, 18.2% more than 2022 and only 0.1% less than 2019, the record breaking year. The hotel occupancy for the Christmas weekend in Benidorm was 77%. It was actually busier earlier in December for the double Spanish bank holiday, what they call the December Bridge, when hotel occupancy hit 81.4%. Just looking around the town at Christmas weekend, it did seem quieter to me. However, Hosbeck figures for the second half of December show hotel occupation slightly higher this year, from 68.1% in 2019 to 68.4% in 2023. Bookings for New Year are looking fantastic too. Before Christmas, Hosbeck published the hotel reservation figures at 90%. That doesn't even include any bookings placed in the last week or so. A lot of national tourists often wait to see what the weather's like before they decide to book last minute or not. So that figure will definitely go up. 2019 it was around 95% full for New Year in Benidorm. I don't think we'll hit that percentage but it is going to be a very busy one. This again says to me that Benidorm hasn't priced itself out of the market. New Year is one of the most expensive times to come but with many hotels completely fully booked it does not seem to be putting people off. What we did used to see is a lot of people coming for both Christmas and New Year, but I think what's happening now is more people are choosing one or the other. It's too much money to do both, and New Year in Benidorm is preferred to Christmas. 
It's going to be one hell of a party here, by the way. Around 10,000 people are expected down on Levante Beachfront. That's where the main New Year's party is. From 7 p.m., there'll be a stage with DJs and six big screens to bring in the new year. That will be done twice as well at midnight, obviously, for our new year in Spain, but again at 1 a.m. when it's midnight in the UK. And the screens will connect to show the chimes of Big Ben bringing in 2024. This is a lovely touch, I think, to show appreciation for all the British tourists that visit Benidorm. What are the prices like for 2024? Will it be as successful as 2023 or do we think Benidorm is going to price itself out in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Another interesting statistic regarding the tourism numbers is the type of accommodation people are booking. Going by percentages, the most popular hotels are of the four star and four star superior ratings. Now this suggests to me that Benidorm isn't pricing itself out yet. Surely if it was getting too expensive, people would be choosing cheaper hotels. Benidorm isn't just a place for a cheap and cheerful holiday anymore. You can still get cheap deals, you definitely have to shop around for them more nowadays though. But if the trend from 2023 continues, people aren't choosing the cheapest accommodation for their holidays here. They are forking out the extra and staying in higher rated, more expensive hotels. Benidorm really upped its game during the pandemic years. The amount of money invested in renovating hotels, bars, restaurants and even some entire areas is astronomical. But it is proving worthwhile as Benidorm is appealing to a much wider tourist pool now than it was before. There are still plenty of budget-friendly hotels and apartments and you can still get a bargain package holiday here if you shop around. It does seem to be better to book early these days, get those holidays booked as soon as the flights are released. To get a cheap last minute deal you really have to be very quick, constantly checking various sites to find the best prices. You'll have to be flexible with dates and airports and be ready to book immediately. The price of a holiday through package holiday websites can change within minutes, so you need to be prepared to lock that price in as soon as you see it. It can work out cheaper to piece together your own holiday. Booking your flights, accommodation and transfers separately can save you a few quid and more and more people are doing this these days. Expedia is a good site where you can build your own holiday and book it all in one place. I'll post a link in the video description for Expedia. Have a play around with it. It's a good website, obviously it requires a bit more effort on your part. You're doing the work of the travel agent or the tour operator by putting your own holiday together. But this can often get you a much better deal. Other good sites to look at are Agoda, Verbo and even TripAdvisor which can act like a comparison site and take you to the cheapest places on the web to book when you put in your dates. Prices have gone up again from 2023 to 2024 when it comes to booking holidays, but there are still ways around it and you can still get a good deal to Benidorm. Are there cheaper places to holiday? Yes, no doubt there are. Turkey is often mentioned in the comments on our videos and yes, you probably can get cheaper holidays to Turkey than Benidorm, but it's not really comparable in my opinion. It's a completely different type of holiday. Being confined to a hotel with not much going on outside the grounds is great if you just want to lay horizontal for a week and not do much else. Absolutely nothing wrong with that, each to their own, you know everyone is entitled to do whatever they want and enjoy their holidays however they want. But when you look at Benidorm, you're paying for what the resort as a whole has, not just the hotel and Benidorm offers much more in the way of an all-round resort than most other places around this part of the world. There is something going on all around you as soon as you step out of your hotel. From tapas bars and Spanish cafes to lively fun pubs, huge cabaret venues and breathtaking rooftops, first class entertainment, restaurants with food from all corners of the earth, stunning viewpoint areas, hiking and bike trails, five beaches, water sports activities, go-karts, quad bikes, buggies, two water parks, two zoos, a theme park, a fun fair, not to mention all the fantastic events held here throughout the year. I could go on and on and on. And it's only two and a half hours on a flight from the UK, big bonus.
I will say here as well that having travelled to Vienna, Budapest and London this year, Benidorm is still cheap when you get here, even though prices have gone up when it comes to food and drink in general. But again, those places I went to offer a different type of holiday. It's a city break, so it's not really fair to compare them to Benidorm. It all really depends on what you want from your holiday. So how will 2024 pan out? Well, I can see already people are holding off booking because of prices at the moment. Maybe we won't have such a busy year as 2023 has been. I'm sure there will be a point even our most enthusiastic Benidorm regulars say no, I won't pay that. It's understandable. So companies have to be very careful not to push it too far. It's tough though, prices of pretty much everything have gone up here in Spain just as they have in other parts of the world. Electricity, gas, petrol, food and drink have all increased and all of those things go into making a holiday. So of course the increase has to be transferred to the consumer. These businesses at the end of the day they exist to make money. As lovely as it would be for them all to say oh okay we will just put our profits on hold this year to make sure everyone has an amazing holiday. Fortunately that's just not the way it works. We will have to wait and see how 2024 pans out. Whether the prices are going too high and indeed Benidorm is pricing itself out. Will we start to lose people to other destinations or will people sacrifice other things in their life to make sure they have the money to get to Benidorm? One night a month staying in instead of going out, that would probably cover it over a space of a year. It doesn't really seem a lot when you think of it like that I suppose. Let's just hope we don't see prices increase anymore. With the extremely successful year we've just had, holiday prices were never going to go down. But surely they can't keep going up and up. There has to come a point things level out. We'll be doing some more videos in the near future hoping to show you ways of saving money on your holidays in 2024. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, X and TikTok at The Benidorm Enthusiast for loads more handy tips and tricks to help you enjoy your time in Benidorm. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing new year. Stay positive, stay safe. All the best for 2024 and Happy New Year, guys.